Mad Munchkin's Reaction Theater. Hotel Transylvania 2. I did say I had to play catch up on some of the releases in 2015 and since this was released on DVD just this week, I have to review this sucker, pun completely intended. Let me be clear before I go further, Hotel Transylvania came out at the right time for me. I was working as a housekeeper on the side as well as working freelance artist when I first saw the trailer for Hotel Transylvania, so the jokes meant more to me than they would have at any other time. Also, I love horror movies, especially classic horror movies and B-horror movies. The thing is, the first movie was so quirky and weird, the fast-paced energetic animation was fresh and new. For me, it really was the way a real 2D animated cartoon would look in 3D animation. The story was a little predictable and let's face it, overbearing payments in animated movies has been overdone. So with the sequel, I was really hoping they would go down a different route. Explore how Johnny would handle having a son who was half monster, show how Mavis acts in front of her human in-laws, or see how Drac adjusts to life running a hotel that served both humans and monsters, and the whole chaos with keeping things running smoothly. Instead, the role of overprotective parent shifts to Mavis. It just felt like it was the first movie all over again, and didn't really explore enough of the new possibilities open to it. The animation was just not as impressive as the first, but maybe that was just because I got accustomed to it. And I also kind of got sick of all the references to mobile technology too. Let's face it, a few years down the road, this movie is going to feel really dated. The structure and pacing felt a little off too, like the first half of the movie felt, I don't know, just disjointed and not linked to the rest of the movie. And without giving too much away, things were resolved far too easily and quickly for my liking. You know what, if you're a fan of the first movie then by all means give this a watch, but yeah, it's not really all that interesting sadly. It's almost insulting. If it wasn't for the subject matter of it being a homage to classic horror movies, I would completely miss it guys. Yeah, I was really disappointed by this. What a shame. I'm Mad Munchkin. Stay creative.